A one, two, three, four. I am in San Francisco today and I am on my way to the Cacti and Succulent Society show. This is an annual show that is held on a weekend. However, I couldn't go to the Saturday one because I had um, some previous engagement. So I had to go on Sunday, but um, I, for fear that um, there would not be a lot of uh, choice plans because it's been picked from I uh, went to Walmart an hour and a half ago so here's the Walmart stop I'm here at Walmart just checking out Ooh, what is this checking out their succulent it's a nice one it's an olive striata dollars is old man plants yep it is
So we're here at Golden Gate Park, guys. Look at all this pioneers.
found her. I found her, guys. I'm going to inspect her now, make sure there's no mealybugs. I broke down into the cactus because it was it looked good. I don't really like cactus but it looked good. Um, I went to Walmart because I was thinking, oh, maybe, you know, the, it's all been picked from and I might not come home with plants and, you know, I want to see what's new at Walmart in Vallejo, not in, in um, Napa because the, the plants in Napa are just the same exact ones that I have already had and I've already been purchasing before. Um, so I didn't go to the one in Napa. Instead, I went to the one in Vallejo. And guess what, guys? Mm -mm -mm. Look at what I got. This plant. Nechevaria. <clears throat> there. And I got this air plant, too. Really cute. Cute thing. Oh, aren't you cute? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Soul Sugar Succulent. <laughs> It's an air plant and I love it because of just be for the planter it has a it has a, a story um, and I'll show you that later but this echeveria right here guys um, all right so on with the haul my goodness this baby right here I'll put it right here oh my goodness look at this girl Oh, girl, this is an Echeveria mini bell. Um, but look, $10, expensive, right? So I really have to make an effort to uh, make this very healthy, keep it healthy, keep the plants healthy. So that's one. got one and the next one is look at this oh my gosh I cannot even Cal and Koei, um tea fantastic okay it looks a lot like a paddle plant now doesn't it but look at the variegation I, I'm wondering if this is a cross between the Cal and Koei, Lucy, is it? if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the paddle plant and the fichenque, I think, because of this pink tips and the green and yellow variegation. It's really so pretty. I cannot wait until this grows. Okay, so I'm also checking the the moisture level of these guys. Okay, so this one has. This is, is this one still has moisture in it. It's about to become dry soon, so I have a couple days to work with if I don't get to it today. Same with this one. Same with this one. This one needs water already, but not today. My next one is oh my. It does not have a label, but I spoke to the grower. I mean, I mean, she sells these things, and she. I think she is a hybrider to hybrider, um, because this looks like a an arrow or whatever you call it, Echeveria, something arrow, and. She was there. She was telling me how, like, she has Korean, 
Korean um, plants, Korean um, echeverias. They're nice. They're really cool. I like them. But again, the the plants didn't really look very healthy, and maybe that's why they're healthy is because they don't look healthy. Because if you go to the big box stores. Usually they're so plump because they overwater it. <clears throat> but um, this was the only one that really caught my eye. And she had several of them. And let me tell you guys, at this place, the people, the buyers, um, they like trample all over each other to get to the plants. <laughs> Which makes me, I love it because it, it, it just means that they're excited about um, succulents just like I am so this girl right here this girl right here is very healthy I don't know do I see mealybugs I hope I don't see mealybugs I'm not sure no that's a that's a perlite I think um, and it's quite it's quite dark in here too so but I see babies, like, look at all the babies coming up. Loving it, loving it. Look at, there's um, flowers. It's flowering right now, which is, which is, I'm so excited about that. Because um, I just know that I, I can probably um, start this out from seed. Maybe, I'll experiment. She is a collector's item. Very, very unique with the red tips and everything. Um, yeah, that's another one. Okay, where's my next one? This, I got this from, this, I got this from Walmart. This is my Walmart haul right here. See how plump it is, but watch. I'm going to stick. I mean, you can, you know, if it's not, then yeah, I'm happy. Okay, so this is not overwatered, which makes me really happy. This is an Echeveria Fleur Blanc. Blanc. Fleur Blanc. Um, yeah, isn't it pretty? It kind of looks like a Lola, but a Lola is more... I think Lola's are smaller and it's got fatter leaves that go like this. Um, yeah, this is really cute. I love it. Um, I have my wet brush here. I'm going to try to see if there's any mealy bugs. No. So this is not going into the garden unless until I have changed the soil. That's the next one. <clears throat> the next one is, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so this guy right here is the Echeveria ciliata and crossbred with the nodulosa. That's what makes the pink tips um, and this, the shape of the leaves. It's very, very cute. Um, all the rocks came out because of my tipped, um, my tipped cart, but it's still beautiful. And I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm going to repot them anyway. But kind of looks like the sedum, the un unidentified sedum that I have. Uh, and I'm going to actually research this ciliata because it could be what that one is. Um, it just picking up the characteristics of the same, uh, the same plant. So that's very small. It looks like a dollar, a silver dollar, as big as a silver dollar, very small. The next one, my husband got this. Uh, this is a tu, tubularis, 
Crassula tubularis. So he's gonna keep this one. I might get cuttings out of it though. When it grows, I have to redo the pot for him. And there's tiny little minuscule uh, little roots there. Can you see the little roots? Yeah, that's just kind of weird. Weird looking. But it's unique, so I'm uh, going to have to take some, some cuttings out of that when it grows a little bit more. And then he got the lithops. This is a living stone. Yeah, I got that one. I already have one, so I'm not, I wasn't interested in it. Next one is... is the elegance oh i've always wanted this one and this is a pretty reasonable price reasonably priced um it's a very elegance it's not beautiful i've always wanted one um just doesn't they they just didn't um sell it here but when i was at the um, where was I? At the Succulent Gardens. Um, they had it where they had their gardens, but they didn't have it for sale, so I wasn't able to buy one. Then I have two of those, I think. Where's my other one? Yes. I'm going to save the, the cacti for last because that's the one that hurts me. The ones you love, you hurt the ones you love the most. Okay, so the, these two are the elegance, I think. Why does it say crassle on this one? Ay, yeah, yeah, these people. Okay, so it's not a crassula, and throw this away. It's because you're not a crassula. <clears throat> these are both um, ele Echeveria elegance. Pretty, pretty. Okie dokie. Next is, this is one of my favorites. It's going to be one of my favorites. Be, just because of the coloring. Um, this. this is... A Echeveria Blue Prince. Guys, have you ever seen a Blue Prince? No, I've only seen... A black prince and a black knight. I have never seen a blue prince. Ever since I lost my blue bird, I am now obsessed with blue something. <laughs> blue echeverias. Oi, what is that? No, that's just a... Okay, so this is echeveria blue prince. It really takes the characteristics of a prince um the black prints but it's really nice like the co the color is very very bluish light bluish green i hate when the, you know what i like perlite because of what it does for my plants but it just gets everywhere and then it looks like it looks like mealybugs and i don't like the fact that it looks like mealybugs because then i think i have mealybugs so, you know, I'm making sure that my plants are sturdy. These are very healthy, and I hope that it stays that way. I'm going to try my very best. Mm -hmm. And the next one is, I don't know what this is, but... Isn't that pretty? Guys, I don't know what this plant is, but isn't it so pretty though? Yeah, it's very pretty. It's an Echeveria off course. And it was it was sitting there with the um Echeveria's uh Echeveria agavoids. But I don't think it is. I think it's 
probably a hybrid of a Malaco or um, Chroma something. But it does, just looks like it. It just looks like it to me. And the next one is... Oh, you guys, you guys, you're going to be so happy for me. I hope you guys are so happy for me. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have a bluebird again. It may not be as big as my first one, but it's still a bluebird. Isn't that wonderful? I'm so happy. I would be even happier if my little propagated leaves are going to propagate. Beautiful. My bluebird. I love the bluebird. Here's another one that really caught my eye that I was so happy about. We're almost to the end, so just bear with me, guys. Echeveria. Hi. Echeveria Afterglow. Okay, okay. Afterglow. I have an afterglow. It does not look like this. This is a different type of afterglow. My afterglow has like huge leaves that go all the way around. This is a hybrid of something with the afterglow. So that's what I, you know, I'm just starting to notice that that's how they're, they're doing it. They're not telling me like what, what the hybrid is or what they're hybriding it with, but yeah. This is uh, definitely an afterglow because of the color and the pinkish, greenish, whatever, but it's a hybrid, I'm pretty sure. You know what? It might be a hybrid between the afterglow and the, um, which one is that? Next. On top is Echeveria Agavoids Variation Prolifera. Look how beautiful this plant is. And not only that, it's like pushing out all these pups. And I just love the fact that it's doing that. Because guess what? I get so many plants out of it. I actually like this better than my agavoids because of the fact that my agavoids are so slow in, um, in pushing out pups or even growing. Uh, and this one is the, the vari variation pro prolifera, which that's probably what the characteristic is of the prolifera is to proliferate. Am I using it in the right context? <laughs> yes, it might be proliferation, but definitely I love this plant. I love, love, love it. And it kind of looks also like a polydonis, if you ask me. Ooh, there's something sticky there. That is sticky. I'm wondering if it's that sap that the um, mealybugs gave give off oh yeah there's some mealybug right there guys ah oh, this really makes me mad what happened is they probably cleaned it up before they put it out this is a mixture this bottle is a mixture of alcohol plus um so a little bit, uh, just a squirt of Dawn, a squirt of Dawn, and half, half, half water, half um, alcohol. So definitely this guy right here has mealybugs. So I'm going to eradicate them before. That's be probably because of these um, flowers. Yeah, I'm just going to have to inspect it really, really closely. When I do repot it, 
All right, so moving on. I'm not gonna get that close to anything. You have to sit here all by yourself because you are infested. Not infested, but look at this, guys. Uh, Echeveria pallida. Echeveria pallida. And I'm thinking, does this look like the un identified Echeveria that I have out there right now. And this seems to be crested too. Or, or just twins. I love it. And there's a theme that, that I notice. I like that I got like all the light, light colored um, Echeverias with red tips. Light colored light colored and then my last one my last trick is okay you guys if you guys know me um you would know that i am not into cacti i'm not into cacti at all not into cacti at all. but yesterday yesterday I saw this one cacti and I'm like, oh, MG, I have to have that one because of the color. It looks like Christmas. Guys, look at this. Does not look like Christmas to you. It was at the and the old the reason why I don't like cacti is because it pokes me. I'm sure it pokes everybody, but look at this. It looks like Christmas. Ay ay ay. And then of course you have the very the variegation or yeah variegated um, color of the actual plant. Look at that. Look at that. This isn't it cute? I am just in love with this thing. <laughs> and it kept poking me yesterday and I almost didn't buy it because I'm like, oh, you just keep poking me. I you know, I could just imagine how much you're gonna poke me um when I actually plant you. Look at that cuteness. Huh? I don't even know. What is it called? <laughs> I didn't even care what it was called. Apuntia monacantha variegated see um that's why i like to go to the uh, succulent society because there's people actually who um breed or hybridize um the plants and then i have some that don't look like anything else uh so it's not cute i just love it And that concludes our haul. I got a lot more plants right now. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't know how I'm going to plant them, but I have them, so I'm happy. Uh, I think I have a planter for this this guy already. Um, yeah, I think I do, which is cool. And I think I have a planter for, for these two guys. Um, I know that these guys are going to push a lot of babies. Um, so excited about that this guy right oh isn't that beautiful look at that look at that guys you know i don't get my hair done i don't get my makeup done i don't have i i don't you know get <clears throat> botox or anything because that doesn't make me happy what makes me happy is having my oops, my succulent collection and sharing them with you guys that's what makes me really happy now it, now i'm more i'm even more happy because i have shared it with you and i'm gonna upload this real soon so you guys can have it so i'm gonna piecemeal the uh progression of the yard uh, uh, how i'm gonna fix it up and now that I have these plants um, 
probably going to maybe put the Jennifer um, somewhere in the garden so that it could keep growing. Uh, but somewhere where I can really pay attention to it because it's a beautiful plant with the crested and I don't have very many crested ones. Actually, I don't have any crested ones. <laughs> That's the only one I have so far. I'm hoping that this one right here would be crested too when it grows, hopefully. Um, at least it has twins. So I got two for one, which means $2.50 for each one of these. Pal Palida. Echeveria Palida. And that's it guys thank you so much for bearing with me thank you for following me um through my crazy crazy escapades <laughs> and thank you so much for um subscribing please subscribe smash the subscribe button if you're not sub subscriber yet please subscribe i have much more uh, um content to give later on um that you know i have i have so many ideas in my head that um just want to share with you guys and just keep watching and um keep letting me know like comments and stuff i know you guys are complaining about um the music and drowning out my voice because i actually um the way i do that is i um push the the bar all the way to 200 percent for my voice because i don't really have a loud voice um, so I push it up to uh, 200 and then when I when I add music it's actually 6% so I don't know how YouTube manages to make it so loud that it drowns my voice out I don't know but I know that the last video that I had um, when I was feeding the snack to Blue um, I wasn't really saying a lot so if that's what you, you you're saying that you're missing out on um, you're not missing out on anything. I was just talking to him like the way I talk to Blue every day. Um, so uh, what else do I say? Um, I'm going to have a Q&A pretty soon. So if you guys have any questions, uh, drop them down on the description, on the comment section. Uh, what you want me to answer for you guys on the Q&A. Um, it could be anything from... Um, something about Echeverius, um, something personal if you want to ask me as long as it's PG and, um, you know, uh, uh, answerable, <laughs> I would answer it um, if I ignore it because I can't answer it. <laughs> so don't feel offended. Just keep asking me questions. Um, and until then, please comment, please like, please subscribe. Please click the bell notification so you don't miss out on anything in the future. And be nice and kind to everybody. Hey, guys, smile. You know what? You know what smile does? It confuses the people that you smile. <laughs> so, but then they start seeing that, um, you know, it makes it brightens up their day or something. And then they would pay it forward to someone else. And maybe they'll smile to someone else too. So, ooh, I wanted to show you. That, look what I got from... Um, Walmart see I'm gonna ask suggestions from you guys uh, what do you think I should plant in this planter see how cute this is what do you think I should plant in this planter it has to be something that has to do with hair owl hair <laughs> Okay, guys, see you later. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Have a great weekend, whatever it, this video falls into. But just have a great something. Okay, love you, XOXO.